In this next example, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how the use of carbon-14 uh, dating. So hopefully you guys know a little bit about this. It's basically a way that they can uh, keep track of how old things are. So it says use the fact that after uh, 5,715 years, a given amount of carbon-14 will have decayed to half the original amount to find the exponential uh, decay model for carbon-14. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, let's see if we can't figure this out. Uh, again, our equation is going to be this, A is equal to A sub O, E to the KT power. Now, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four different variables. So for us to figure out one of them, we need to know three others. So uh, we know T. Uh, we definitely know T because, as you can see in, in T, uh, it tells us the number of years. So we'll say uh, 5,715 years. K, we're not going to be able to know K, and we don't really know what A and A sub O are, but we do kind of know the scenario. So with the half-life, it's basically decaying to the half of the original amount. So you can do, you can say this is A sub O, and you can say this is one half of A sub O, or A sub O uh, divided by two, or you could just make up something. So let's say that we started with 10 grams, and therefore the half-life means that we'll have five left over. It doesn't really matter what you do because when we're solving this and we divide both sides by a nice little 10, uh, we will get one half no matter what. So that could be A sub O divided by uh, 2 or uh, whatever it might work. And then what we're trying to do is we're trying to obviously figure out what K is. Because once we can figure out what K is, we'll use that K later in our problem to help us answer part B. So this will cancel and we'll get the natural log of one half is equal to 5,715K. So I'm going to now go ahead and divide by 5,715K on both sides. That's called cancel. So this is actually what our value of K is. So we're going to use that in our problem. Uh, I can figure out the decimal is, but I'm just going to leave it like that a little bit later on. We'll uh, see if we can't use it. Now it says in 1947, earthware jars contained what was known as the Dead Sea Scrolls were found by an Arab, uh, whatever, herdsman. Uh, analysis indicated that the scroll wrappings contained 70%, 76% of the original carbon-14. Uh, estimate the age of the Dead Sea Scrolls. So we're going to see if we can't uh, use this K right here and help us with our problem. That's a 5, by the way. And uh, what we need to do is basically how to write A and A sub O. So uh, what we do know is that when we divide both sides by A sub O, Okay, obviously A sub O is going to be the larger one. There's going to be 76% left. So in our nice little problem, uh, what we need to do is rewrite A. So what we'll do is we'll just say that uh, since there's 76% left, we'll say decimal 76 of A sub O. So that's going to be basically 76. The way you take a percent of a number, you just... Uh, write that as a decimal and multiply it by how much you started with. Another way we could do it is we could actually just use uh, some fictitious value. So say we started with 100 grams, then we'd have 76 left. So we would divide both sides by 100 and you get 76 divided by 100, which would give you decimal 76. And our next step is to go ahead and solve. So we'll go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. That's going to cancel. Oh, this is going to be some fun uh, calculator math here. But don't you worry. And again, I could have typed this in the calculator and kind of just left it there, but I didn't bring up my calculator yet. So. So now let's finally get into our calculator. 
All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to figure out what uh, our k value is. So we'll say it's going to be the natural log of 1 half, and then divided by 5,715. So that's what our k is. Uh, as you can see, this is a scientific notation, so make sure that you're aware of that when you copy it down. So you'd actually have decimal 0, 0, 0, 1, 2. So, but like I said, I'm just going to leave that in my calculator. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this, the natural log of decimal 76, and I will divide that by the previous answer to get how many years apparently the Dead Sea Scrolls uh, have been uh, had been around. So I'm going to round it to the nearest year this time. So 2,263. 2,263 years. Now, um, yeah, you know, this is going to be a very specific answer because I didn't use a decimal. Obviously, if I'd written that decimal and then rounded it, it's going to make a, a pretty big difference. So uh, the book might have a little bit of a different answer, but uh, that's going to be actually more accurate than any rounded answer the book might use. There's uh, another example of using uh, carbon uh, 14 dating which is obviously a model of decay.